All right, here we are at Charlie's Yurt, and there's Charlie. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Give us a little tour here. Well, this is my yurt. This is a, uh, we're in Newark, Delaware right now. It's uh, end of November. Um, I've been working on this for three months now. I started early August, and at the time, I just had a frame, and um, I built the frame, took a couple weeks, but I had nowhere to put it. And so, you know, if you take a look around you, you see the property I'm, I'm on now. Um, two uh, nice wooded acres, um, but only, only a couple, only a short bike ride from the uh, University of Delaware campus. Um, so, get the best of both worlds. Um, so anyway, at the right at the right moment, I I, um, I met this this man named Rogers, and he uh, he allowed me to uh, to build my yurt here. And so the next the rest of the journey has been sewing the the canvas cover and uh, getting the felt shipped here from uh, Montreal, which ultimately came from Mongolia, handmade. That's what they originally covered their yurts with. And, um, and now I've spent the last uh, couple weeks kind of figuring out the, the interior decoration and getting, uh, getting the wood-burning stove operating. Nice and warm and toasty in here. It's only you know, 30 degrees outside, but we're nice and warm in here. Slept in it a couple nights, been nice and toasty. and. Uh, yeah, so this this is uh, this is my new home. I'll be living here for uh, I'll probably be living in this for a long time. Let's just say that. Whether or not it's on this property, um, I can't say f you know forever. But uh, the beauty of it, for those of you who don't know what um, how a yurt works, is it's made up of a wooden lattice work, um, a bunch of you know, wood poles intersecting. And they're all just, all the joints are just simply tied together with uh, some, some rope cordage. And the beauty of that is, you know, it only, in addition to keeping them uh, securely joined, the whole thing folds up like an accordion. And so you can easily take this whole structure apart and even with one person, you could take it apart in an hour and pack it in the back of a station wagon and you know aside from the heavy things like a, a wood stove it's pretty pretty transportable and it is what the uh, Mongolians traditionally traditionally lived in and tr still traditionally do live in um, it's a structure that's kind of evolved to stand the test of time over many thousands of years for warmth and you know portability and resistance to uh, extreme weather conditions. So, and it's circular. It's beautiful. Resists the wind because it's aerodynamic. Exactly. Wind flows right over it. I mean, the structure we're in right now, it's not even staked down to the ground. And we had some pretty raging winds last night and the, the yurt didn't budge. The wind flows right around it. And it's insulated and breathable. Insulated, breathable. Um, so it can, it can absorb a lot of moisture, but it doesn't ever become a rot issue, for the most part, because of its ability to, to wick that moisture back out into the, into the air. Um, so it's a very efficient, very beautiful structure. I'm glad to be the new proud owner, owner builder of a yurt. And I know through this process of learning about building, uh, it's something you become more passionate about. And in fact, you said you've been open to helping other people learn to build yurts. Absolutely. Um, in general, I, I feel a strong passion to really making anything with my hands, um, woodworking in general, crafts. Um, but yurt building is, you know, I've become very intimate with the process 
through the last three months. And I think it would be great to be able to offer this gift or, you know, service, depending on, um, you know, what the, what the circumstance. And you could help people build uh, any size or any style? Um, it, it would be something new for me since this is my only, this is only my first one, but uh, I could probably build any, you know, I could, I mean. The, What's the uh, size of this one? This is a 16 foot. And once you have the idea of the size, the diameter that you want, all the uh, dimensions of lumber are pretty much, you know, they, they, they're made to fit that. So it's pretty, it's modular. They're really, they're really adaptable to any, you know, any need. Well, to me, it's inspirational to see someone uh, build their own home with their own hands using natural yeah. materials. And, uh, can't wait to try out this toasty yurt tonight in a nice uh, hotel stay. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sean. All right. Thank you.